Hi, preschool friends. We're going to talk about how we count our touch math numbers today. So uh, if you take a look, we're going to start with the number zero. Number zero does not have any touch points. Zero means none. And so that that's why it has no touch points, because it means none. And if we go to number one, number one has one touch point. So when we see a touch point, we touch it and count it, one, and then we say the number, number one. So it looks like this, one, number one. Again, one, number one. If we go over to number two, number two has two touch points. Now what's interesting to remember is we do not trace when we are touching the touch points. We don't trace, we just touch the touch points and we always start at the top. So I say one, two, number two. Again, one, two, number two. Going over to number three, we have three touch points. Again, we do not trace, we just start at the top and touch the touch points. One, two, three, number three. One, two, three, number three. Going over to number four, this one is a little tricky. We start at the top left, we go down, and then at the top right, and down. So we go top, down, top, down. Remember, we are not tracing, just touching the touch points. One, two, three, four, number four. One, two, three, four, number four. Once we go over to five, we have the last number that has only one touch touch points. So as said before, we touch at the top and go around without tracing. One, two, three, four, five, number five. Again, one, two, three, four, five, number five. If you look at the six, the six starts looking a little different with its touch points. When you see a touch point with a ring around it, it means you touch it twice. When you see a touch point with a ring around it, that means you touch it twice. So we start at the top and it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, number six. Again, touch point with a ring around it means we touch it twice. One two, three, four, five, six, number six. If we go over to number seven, it has touch points with rings around it. And we start at the touch point with the ring around it at the top. Now, you can choose, instead of touching the middle touch point twice, to touch the ring and then the middle touch point, like that. And it would look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number seven. So I'm touching the last touch point once, the first three twice each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number seven. Number eight goes to the side like we're reading a book. So we go from left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number eight. Or just touching the middle twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number eight. We wanna make sure we're counting in at a pace that is not slow. So we don't want it to look like this. One, two, three, Four. That's too hard to remember, so we keep the pace quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, number eight. And the last one is number nine. Start at the top with the touch point that has the ring around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, number nine. I'm touching that last touch point once because it does not have a ring around it. The rest I'm touching twice, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, number nine. 
And that is how we do our touchpoint math numbers. Thanks for watching.